I am recording this video because of a post on the Foundries forum about exporting curves from ZBrush and there is an important notion that I want to stress that I did not really stress in my previous videos about FiberMesh and that is the fact that after you have created fibers so when I press preview so now I don't have a hair subtool yet. I have one, but that is one that I created previously. But for, from this preview, I don't have a sub, subtool yet. So when I press accept, then go to the subtool palette, then you see you have created fiber mesh geometry. And it's important to note, and I call it fiber mesh geometry, because this is not a regular polymesh 3d subtool yet so as long as you don't do not subdivide that geometry by pressing ctrl d or going to geometry divide or alter its geometry so if i were to edit the geometry somehow and change the topology as soon as you do that then the, that fiber mesh geometry becomes regular polymesh 3D geometry. So what does that mean? That this is not regular polymesh 3D geometry, but actually still fiber mesh geometry. Well, important to note about that, and that is something that I did already tell about in other videos, is that when you go to, and I am I'm going to close geometry, to your fiber mesh palette, preview settings that you can still turn on fast preview or turn it off and in order to export curves you have to turn on fast preview and then lower the amount of previews to something that is acceptable for you to use as guides in another program so I'm going to turn off colorize so that the fibers are a bit better visible so if you wanted that amount for fibers, for instance, to use into Modo. So now that I have turned on Fast Preview and Previs lowered, then I can export my curves and I'm going to export them as an .lbo file, so as a Lightwave file. If I export them as a .lxo file, then all curves will be placed in a separate layer, and that is something that you do not want. But when you export them as a .lbo file, then that will not happen. So I'm going to save that. When I go to Modo, then I can do File, Open, and, and voila, and you have your guides. So it is that simple. So in ZBrush, if fast preview is off, and you have your fiber mesh geometry subtool, then you can still export the curves because on the forum someone told, well, it's not possible anymore to export the curves after you have pressed the accept button. Well, it is so. You turn on fast preview, lower the previous to something that works for you, and then press export curves. Export them if you want to go to Modo as a .lvo file, so that all curves will be placed in one single layer. Go to Anoldas, and just import them or open that file in Modo, and you're set. So important after you have pressed the accept button. The resulting subtool is not a regular polymesh 3D subtool yet. It is still fiber mesh related, fiber mesh geometry. And that also means that when you, for instance, use the move brush, so move, that when you go to your brush palette, that you have a fiber mesh setting and that you can turn it the preserve length all the way to zero. So now I can move these fibers around as much as I want. And I'm going to turn on off turn off my fast preview again to see the results. 
So I can turn it on or turn it off depending on your needs, depending on how many fibers you have. If you have a lot of fibers, then it's advisable to turn fast preview on. If with this example, it's not important. So I'm working with the move brush. And since this is still fiber mesh geometry, the fiber mesh settings in my brush palette will have an effect. So when I turn on preserve length with the move brush, now I can move the geometry around, but I can't stretch it anymore. Because this is still fiber mesh geometry. So that is an important notion about fiber mesh that I recently learned about and a lot of people don't seem to know about it yet. So I hope this is very useful. So if I turn off preserve length and I can, and even with a smooth brush, so if I press smooth, then I can set that to zero. So now my fibers are really shrunken. So I'm control Z, press shift again to up the preserve length slider for my move brush. And now you see you get a completely different smoothing for the smooth brush with preserve length set to 100. So if I do something in between, then I can, I'm tapping with my pen on the mouse, uh, on the tablet. I'm tapping, so not pressing and holding down on the tablet, but just tapping. So control Z a couple of times. And this was with a setting of 46. So if I want the smooth brush to have a lesser effect each time I tap, I can turn down preserve length. Or I should do it the other way around. Up my preserve length. And you see now each time I tap, I gently adjust the fibers with my smooth brush. So to recap, after you have pressed the accept button with fiber mesh, you do not get a regular poly mesh 3D. You get a fiber mesh 3D, if you will. I don't know how it's officially called, but anyway, as long as you do not alter the topology of that fiber mesh, it remains a fiber mesh geometry. It does not become a poly mesh 3D. And as long as it's fiber mesh geometry, you can adjust the fiber mesh settings for each brush, whether it's the groom brushes. So if I groom hair long, I have, of course, my fiber mesh settings in my brush palette. But as shown, I also have fiber mesh settings for other brushes like the move brush, the smooth brush. Uh, and maybe there are also other regular brushes that can really have a special effect. So I can use the standard brush. Uh, so you see, you're not limited to the broom brushes. And this is with the standard brush. I don't know if preserve length will have a, a special effect. Anyway, with the standard brush, it has and you have to test it out if it works for you so it's always a good idea in zebras to test out different things like that i don't think that this has much of a difference with the standard brush anyway As I said, after the accept button, you don't have a regular poly mesh 3D, but you have a fiber mesh subtool, and you can adjust for other brushes as well as for the groom brushes, the fiber mesh settings in the brush palette. And because this is fiber mesh geometry, I can still unturn fast preview and up my previous or lower my previous, and then export the curves. And if you go to Modo, you should export as an Lightwave files so of a .lvo file so that all the geometry is in one layer. Otherwise, every curve will be on a separate layer. So, hope you found it useful. Bye.